here with my pal, Rubik. We're back and we're ready to get on and learn some cool new things. Uh-huh. Now all we need is that magic wheel. Where can it be? Oh, there it is. Words and letters? I use words and letters every day. I'm even using them right now. Easy peasy. Okay, find the correct plurals before the timer runs out. Okay. Hmm. Plurals? What does that mean? Oh, I get it. Plurals are like more than one. Okay, so cat. What would the plural form of cat be? More than one is cat. Box? What's the plural form of box? Hmm. Boxes! You add an ES to the end, not just an S. Is horse. Okay, so the plural more or many horse is horses. Horses, you add an ES as well. Okay, now fish. Fishes. Huh? What? I thought it was like horse. Fish. Fish. Just one S? Let me think, Rubik. A lot of fish. <gasps> That's it! More than one fish or group of fish is called fish. That's the plural form. Sheep. Okay. Sheep is the same as fish. More than one sheep is called sheep. Mission accomplished! Yay, we did it! We named all the different forms of plural. Great wow. job, Ruben. That was easy peasy. Okay, join us next time, friends, as we learn fun new stuff. You know what I was thinking? I wonder what you call more than one Ruben. Ruby Roo here. I'm back and I'm ready to learn with the magic wheel and get myself some brand new knowledge. Are you ready to spin the wheel, Ruby? <gasps> there it is. Let's spin. <gasps> Science, that's amazing. Hold on to your hat, Ruby. We're about to do an experiment. Well, I know you don't wear hats, silly goose. It's just a figure of speech. Weren't you listening in the words and letters video? <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Let's see, we have a jar. We have some soap, it looks like, liquid soap. We have food coloring. We have a spoon. We have yeast, whoa, and Hydrogen peroxide? Ruby, what's that? New challenge. Mix the ingredients together to make super foam. <gasps> super foam? Wow, that sounds so incredibly awesome. I can't wait to make it. Okay, let's start with the high, um, hydro, hide and seek peroxide. Oh, <laughs> Hydrogen wow. peroxide, that's what I said, Rubit. Okay, let's fill the jar half full with that liquid. And remember, if you have 30% or more of a hydrogen peroxide kind, make sure you get an adult to help you if you're trying this at home. Here we go. Okay, next step. We add food coloring. We don't want it looking plain now. Here we go. What color shall we choose? Red. 
Here we go. <laughs> hmm. It's not looking very foamy, is it? Well, <gasps> soapy water gets foamy, right, Rubik? So maybe if we add some of this liquid soap, it will turn into super foam. Oh, Rubik, I don't think it's working. What do we do now? Well, Rubik, I guess there's this stuff. Yeast? I guess that couldn't hurt to add it. Here we go. Hmm. Well, there is this spoon, so maybe if we mix it, right? In other words, it sped up the chemical reaction. That's how we got super foam. Yay, Rubit! I think we did it. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Join us next time for even more fun learning. We can't wait to see you back. Oh, that's right. Maybe after we clean up this mess. <sighs> it's going to take a while. Guess who? Yep, it's me, Ruby Roo, along with my trusty pal, Ruby. We're here and excited to learn some fun new things. So, bring on that magic wheel. There it is. <laughs> Spinning the wheel. Art, yes. Art is my favorite. Colors. Creative stuff, I just love it. What's that, Ruben? Oh, you don't really like art? I know you struggle with it a bit because you have no hands, but don't you worry. We'll do this together. <gasps> wow, what do we have here? Okay, we have a tray. We have some lemons. We have measuring cups. Some food coloring. A knife, a spoon or two. And it seems like it's baking soda. All right, Rubit, what do we do now? Make the lemons into color volcanoes. Well, Rubit, color volcanoes sound amazing. But how do we make them? What? Well then, take the lead, little buddy. You're in charge. Okay, step one. Cut the tops and the bottoms of the lemons, but because we're using a very sharp knife, you must be super careful. Ask your parents or a very responsible adult to do it for you or to certainly help you. Ready? Rubit, you have to be the responsible one. All right, taking the lemons, cutting the tops off and the bottom. There, step one. Complete. Next instruction. Carve the insides of the lemons out and then add food coloring. All right, little buddy. This could get messy. I'm excited. Carving out the insides. This is kind of like carving a pumpkin, Rubit. Okay, now for the food coloring. A little blue for this lemon. Ooh, that looks nifty. Since lemon's are already yellow, I'm gonna go with red. All right, great job. Now add a spoonful of baking soda to the inside of the lemons. <gasps> okay, something's happening. 
What's that, Ruby? Mash them up to see what happens then? Okay, I can certainly mash them up. Should maybe make them react more. Wow, look at them bubbles! So that's what a color volcano looks like. Oh, I see. So the citric acid from the lemon is reacting with the baking soda to create carbon dioxide gas, AKA the bubbles. <gasps> wow, it's just like a can of soda. Mission accomplished. Great job, I couldn't have done it without you. Well friends, we'll see you next time for more fun learning. Shiny.